Welcome, welcome back again. So glad you could join me, friends. Time for stories, time for fun. Let's get cozy, everyone. Smiles, giggles, nothing less. This is story time with Jess. Hi, everyone. It's nice to see you. Today, we're going to read Bedtime for Baby Sloth. This is written by Danielle McLean. Bedtime for Baby Sloth. High up in the treetops, Mommy Sloth called to her baby. Time for bed, little one. But Baby Sloth was too busy playing. Mommy, Baby Sloth laughed. I haven't said good night to the stars and the moon. Mommy Sloth sl smiled. Okay, you can say your good nights, but then it's bedtime. Good night, moon, beamed Baby Sloth. Good night, stars, added Mommy. Now come on, little one. It's bedtime for Baby Sloth. But mommy, I can't go to sleep yet. We haven't sung to the birds, said Baby Sloth. So mommy and Baby Sloth cuddled up and together <clears throat> they sang a soft lullaby to the birds as they swooped through the sky. Suddenly Baby Sloth's belly rumbled. Mommy, I need a bedtime snack giggled Baby Sloth. Just one piece of fruits, answered Mommy. The sun is rising, and that means bedtime for Baby Sloth. Baby Sloth still wasn't ready for sleep. How about a bedtime story? asked Mommy Sloth. Yes, please, smiled Baby Sloth climbing down. While Mummy told the story, Baby Sloth gave a big stretchy yawn. Just as Mummy was reaching the end, Baby Sloth whispered, Mommy, I think I'm ready to sleep, finished Mommy with a kiss on the cheek. The end. Thanks for joining me all today, and I hope you all have a great weekend. I will see you all on Monday.